Right there. Hi, I'm Shane Gregg, and I'd like to thank Shabre for being with us here at Cherry Bar. And I'm very privileged to be presenting the relationship between human health and the world of quantum agriculture and explaining to people basically how us as humans have an energy system which mirrors the Earth's energy system. So because we come from this Earth, obviously our energy system matches it. And with that understanding, it will help us become better farmers and understand that relationship between both how we affect the landscape and how the landscape can affect us. And my, my great belief is sometimes we, we're always looking at changing things outside ourselves, but the best place to start is on ourselves. So my background is I was a mechanical engineering building power station, so that's interesting how I'm still in the electricity business. <laughs> And uh, now instead of working with electromagnetic electricity and high voltage, I work with subtle energy systems and feel very privileged to do that. Mm -hmm. So we run an organic farm and Hugh and Shabra have helped us set up broadcasters on the farm, which has really started to kick in. We also have uh, worked with their basic courses. One of these days, the time will be right to get to their advanced course, which um, <laughs> my daughter has done and said was just simply amazing. So we now grow organic cabbages, which in our very light soil is a massive challenge, but I believe we're able to produce a really good product that is all goes fermenting. And the people we supply said it's the best cabbage they can buy in Australia. And I honestly believe that is because of all the work that we've done with biodynamic farming, quantum agriculture techniques, and a lot of landscape work as well, which is obviously part of the quantum agriculture. So that's a little bit about myself, and I feel so privileged to be here with Shabray today at this amazing um, <laughs> new group of people. And you're teaching, Dawson? Yes, we. I actually teach uh, what we call the Dawson program, which is a very simple, holistic, Western type of energy uh, modality to work with the human energy systems. And what I love about it, it is very easy for us with our caught up Western scientific minds to get our head around this process. And it's a wonderful starting point into the subtle energy world in both humans and landscape because we combine both in our teaching mm -hmm. plus working with animals. And you, you have a Dawson practice also? Were yes. You, will yes. you see patients or clients? Yes, Shabra. I, um, I have a practice in Stanthorpe and I hold that to one day a week because um, my passion is also agriculture so it's having that balance in life and most of the Dawson practitioners around Australia, there's not a lot of us, but we're all farmers. Um, and I think that gives us a very good balance of keeping connected to the landscape because when working with subtle energies in people, it's um, quite a heady job because um, the excitement of that in the Western world is most of us are very unbalanced compared to the ancients who were so connected with landscape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. So what do you see the future of agriculture? I see a wonderful future, Shabra, but I think it's really got to come from groups like this where we are now having these seed groups again bringing us back to awareness of a holistic system of incorporating the best technology that we've developed scientifically which we can bring into the physical presence but we also have to got to remember the best of what the ancient knowledge was yeah. because whether we like it or not there's nothing new in the world and the farmers from the ancients whether it be the indigenous aborigines or the American indigenous Americans they were brilliant farmers and yeah. the reason they're br brilliant farmers because they work with nature and not against it mm -hmm. so this is my biggest challenge as a farmer to get my head out of of wanting to um, change everything and um, 
have this battle, this constant battle with, you know, we've got to battle the weeds. Or yeah, Hugh calls it war on nature. War on nature. <laughs> and even as people, we have war on our own body. So we, we see illness quite often as we have to beat this rather than saying disease, which means distress, means that we are just distressed in the physical being and, and work out basically what is causing that distress. Oh. Well, thank you so much. I know how much you brought to this group here and, and all the other Dawson therapists that were here. Yes, we're very privileged today and I'm really very grateful for their support because oh. um, what I was asked to teach at this um, agricultural course, I've spent a lot of time specialising in the human energy work mm -hmm. and now thanks to this group they threw me in the deep end to to learn more about landscape work so I feel very humble that I was asked to present and um, try and bring it the two together which you kept they're inseparable how so, do people reach you uh, we we do have uh, we're pretty hard to reach we don't have a website but the Dawson program actually has a website so they can reach us at uh, www.dawson.com program.com mm -hmm. and, and not dot au just dot com yeah dot com and mm -hmm. uh, yes so that will get us to the main website which is down in Mel Melbourne which is run by Cam Dawson who, who came up with the program and mm -hmm. as I said he, he was always said it's nothing new it's just a westernized version of um, the world knowledge of the energy systems in the human body and uh, yeah, the practitioners are listed on that website. So if you're looking for a practitioner, um, I would be on that. Shane Although, Gregg. Shane Gregg. <laughs> Thanks. Otherwise, we live in Stanthorpe. And um, yes, so Thanks give so much. us a call. Bye-bye. Thank you, Shabrae.